Welcome back and I have a replacement Pi Zero that I can test with. So if you saw the first video about the Pi Zero, I was unable to, unable to get a current draw reading on that one because it was defective. It was just drawing a ton of power and it would freeze up eventually. So I've actually got two more in. I've got uh, two configurations of Raspbi and Jesse. One has just a full image and uh, the other one has basically the, the uh, activity light disabled and also HDMI disabled. All right, so I've got my power supply set on five volts and let's see what we get here. That's booting up now. Uses a little bit more power when it boots up. Let's wait for it to go down a little bit. And I think it's just about idle now. That's not too bad. This is much better. More of what I was expecting. So let's try the other one. Let's turn this off here. I'm just going to switch out the SD cards because they're the same otherwise. The Pi Zeros. It's the software that matters in this case. All right, let's try it again. This one has the activity light or power light disabled, and uh, I'll show you how to do that in the article. And also, the HDMI is disabled. With the HDMI disabled, there's not much of a way to see what, what the Pi is doing unless you have SSH running and you can log into it over a network. I've got the wireless configured and SSH configured, so I'm able to get back in there and turn HDMI back on if I need to. That's really nice. That is really nice. So we've got 70 milliamps. So I've saved uh, 15, 20 milliamps. Also, this has Raspbian light on it. Well, there you have it. That's pretty good. That's worthwhile. So I'll think about some embedded projects I might could put this in. And uh, thanks for watching. That finally completes the Pi Zero testing I was gonna do. Sorry it took so long. See you later.